know I think it's important not to pay heed to endless genealogies not to go down you know it, there's just so many rabbit holes you can go down it's just it's just a lot of work to process all the information make sense of it all I'm basically being tormented by um by ma black magic right now like I got this intense pain in my head that feels like I'm being electrocuted in my skull um devil tries to get you distracted doesn't want you to talk about the ministry you know ministering the truth the gospel you know seems like he just wants you to go down all these rabbit holes and stuff Exhausted, really. I'm exhausted from well, like a lack of, you know, constant sleep deprivation, witchcraft, black magic attacks, dealing with demonic attacks, dealing with energy weapons attacks, having my eye feel like it's about to fucking twitch, like hurting stuff from the demons basically hurting my eyes. Oh. Tinnitus. I'm basically being attacked from all fronts right now. <sighs> it's basically torture what I'm going through right now. So it's like um, a lot of Christians don't believe that they can become demonized. But the truth is, you can, anyone can become demonized, even Christians. That's why it's important to minister, you know, deliverance, to minister, you know, healing, healing, not just. You know, faith without works is dead. So one of the works of faith is is to minister deliverance, to cast out demons. That's one of the works of the faith. I think so. The devil is attacking me very hard right now. physical attacks, the headaches, the shocks, it's just the hell pretty much right now, but you have to go through hell to get to heaven, like Dante's Inferno. terrible right now. I'm just going through some intense witchcraft attacks right now on my, my mind. Like, not my mind, but my brain. Like, it's painful. It's like, God.
causing me a ton of pain from all this. Pretty much every target individual in some way or another is going through what is known as torment or torture or demonic torment. <sighs> sinuses feel like there's just a ton of pressure on my sinuses. Above, you know, the sinuses right under your ear, basically where your brow is, above your eyes. I just feel like these narcissists have to feel like they have the right to try to torture me all the time. And send demons at me every single day. It's like, golly, these people ever let up. They don't ever let up. They do witchcraft on you. You just don't know it. Because you don't see it. They do do witchcraft on you. Believe it or not, a lot of Satanists actually really hate Christians. Right? More than you think they do. Because they're anti Christians. decided to ramp up their torture of me but I ain't afraid it's all gonna come back on them God is gonna repay them it's gonna backfire on them does not kill you as Nietzsche says makes you stronger even though Nietzsche is not a Christian philosopher very anti-Christian I used to read a lot of Nietzsche Nietzsche is the kind of the one that got me started on the agnostic path before I came back to Christianity worldly philosophy is what it is. It just feels like I got this tremendous amount of pain under my eye, like on the bone. It just hurts. It feels like I'm being stabbed. Sinuses are just, just a ton of pressure, you know. That's part of the problem. I was watching.
watching some Russian dude. Not really Russian, but he's like a Russian guy. But he was basically living in Britain. It's kind of weird. But he had a British accent. But a Russian name. I mean, he was just talking a lot about different stuff. Secret societies. Rosicrucians or whatever. Now my ear feels like it's being attacked. It's terrible what I'm going through right now. they can't try to possess you they basically attack you on the outside if once they've been casted out you know spirits they try to attack you on the outside instead attacking my spine my ears my jaw my eye Back of my neck. Really, everything's getting ta attacked right now. <coughs> Horrible torture right now is what I'm going through. I need a pain in my teeth. It's probably my teeth are being attacked. hurt they're being attacked too everything's literally everything in my body right now is being torn pretty much attacked so it's terrible it's that black magic miss Demons hate when you talk about Jesus or talk about the Bible. They don't want you talking about Jesus. I mean, mentally, like, I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I'm not feeling as sad anymore. So I feel like God, Jesus, has been helping me a lot. But, but physically, I feel worse. Like, but the pain is worse. Like, mentally, I feel better. It's a trade-off, you know.
I thought Jesus had literally like given up on me, had abandoned me. To, like I thought that I, I was gonna go to hell and be damned to hell. But apparently he still likes me, so. so I must be getting all this deliverance from all this, all this witchcraft and mess. I don't know, I just... The demons blind you to the, the love that Jesus has for you, pretty much. It literally feels like I'm being... someone. Is, it literally feels like someone is sticking a knife in my, in my brain what it feels like it's not even just a headache it's stabbing pain in my head check out that deliverance ministry playlist if you're having any problems with uh, witchcraft or demons it'll or if, if you want to help other people cast out demons Like faith, of, faith without works is dead. So one of the works of the faith is faith is being able to cast out demons, stuff. Nothing will demonize a Christian more than drinking straight liquor. Liquor brings brings in demons like like uh like bees to honey so i try not to drink any alcohol at all and there also i want to talk about there are different types of alcoholic demons and spirits attached to different types and brands familiar spirits attached to different brands of alcohol that get you coming back to it Like a lot of these Scottish whiskey uh, companies are owned by Freemasons. These distilleries are owned by Freemasons. I used to drink a lot of Scotch whiskey. But yeah, it makes sense. You know, Freemasons from Scotland, that Freemasons own the Scottish distilleries, Scotch distilleries. Like I'm literally the only American person that ever drank scotch a lot. Everyone else in America is a bourbon drinker. I couldn't stand it. But I don't like I don't like liquor no more. I don't drink at all alcohol at all. Just good advice, stay away from all worldly music, stay away from alcohol, and don't listen to any of those binatural beats, miss, that's witchcraft, that brings in, any of those hertz frequencies can bring in demons, spirits. It's important to, to continue to repent and, and not sin because you don't want to if you if you break down strongholds you don't want to build these strongholds back up you don't want to return back to your vomit anymore you want to be holy so you don't want to be like a dog that returns to its vomit as it says in the bible uh, Put on the new flesh. 
I mean, the new garment, it says in the Bible. You know, don't be, keep, don't keep putting on the old flesh, going back to your old, old ways and stuff. That's just some good advice as a Christian. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Because Christians get tortured worse than non-believers do, so. Because you're hated for Christ's sake, so. Jesus can do miracles. It's really all about your faith. Do you want him to do miracles for you? Do you believe? Like, do you really believe it? You know, it's just all about faith. And it can be hard to have faith when we live in a world that is so depressing and evil. It can be hard to have faith. So yeah, faith without works is dead, so, you know, you can't be a lukewarm Christian and just, you know, you know going to church is, a, is an act of faith or a work of faith, I guess. Praying is a work of faith. Deliverance, casting demons out is a work of faith. Spreading the gospel is a work of faith, you know. But you're the, but you're not doing these works so that you can get to heaven. You're doing these works because you feel compelled to do it by the Holy Spirit. You know, you feel it's the fruits of of your faith. It's not because you're intentionally. You sh it's not because you're. It's a works based, right? You know, works based salvation type thing. It's because you you want to do it. You're compelled to do it minister as a fruit not as a you know, not as the actual like reason why a lot of people become Christians is not even just because it's because a lot of people become Christians out of desperation because when you were brought you know, to the lowest of the lows you're seeking a way of escape uh, Jesus can provide you that escape you know uh, when you're 
desperate, you you don't know what, who else to turn to. You know, you realize that only Jesus. You know, you can turn to the to Jesus. So. Like when all else has failed, you know, pretty much. And then you begin to realize and grow in your faith that Jesus really can deliver you from demons, deliver you from sin, make you, you know, stronger. Uh, deliver you from drinking, you know, alcohol or liquor. Deliver you from black magic and witchcraft and any all ki kinds of weapons that the enemy tries to use against you. Uh, so, when you begin to see the fruits of the faith, your faith grows. So, that's kind of how it works, I guess. Your faith grows the more you see th good things. I mean, the more you understand how you know the blessings of Jesus like the like the I don't know just the, the healing of Jesus of the Holy Spirit so um so the faith is not really just it's not just blind faith because once you've seen the faith put to work you know through deliverance it's no longer just blind faith, you know. But it's faith based in, in, based in uh, miracles, based in um, God's blessing, and God's grace, you know. Faith by grace, faith by grace, saved through faith, you know. And from this grace, you know comes faith and then from faith comes the fruits of the faith which helps you to grow your faith uh, so so that would be like the fruits of the faith would be helping other people uh, get deliverance helping other people get saved and that in turn helps to grow your own faith so that's kind of how it works I guess It's hard to say, you know, when it comes to Satanists. Satanists do don't they don't really have a faith in anything, do they? It seems like they have kind of like the opposite of faith, anti-faith, I guess, because it's an anti-Christ religion. Because you know, the devil doesn't save anyone, so how can you have faith in something that doesn't save you? try to grow in faith though the devil will try to attack you and stuff that's one thing I've learned just expect to be more demonically tormented and attacked when you're trying to do do right you know be a good Christian you know
I'll be honest, there are times when I didn't even think the deliverance was going to work. Like, this is not going to, I had my doubts, but then I saw it work, you know, get, and get delivered from demons and stuff. I'm like, this is, wow. It's like, it surprises you, you know, because your expectations aren't that high, you know. And that's how you, it helps you grow in the faith. really it comes down to Christianity is all about faith really about you know trusting in a savior a Messiah and trusting in Jesus Christ uh, hope you know even when you have your doubts to still have trust you know Even when you have your doubts and you're skeptical and you feel like nothing's going to work, you still have some smidgen of hope or faith. saved you have to have faith in order to get grace you know you have to have some smidgen of trust you, know, you have to have some kind of trust or willingness to trust or want, wanting to be saved you know if you don't people have to want to be saved to get saved can't save everybody but for those who want to get saved he will save them he will deliver them he will save them for those who trust in him and call on him <laughs> 